like I was sitting on the plane in the exit row seat, the lady says, you have to move, you're disabled. I'm like, I'm not disabled. You need one hand to pull that, that lever down anyway. And even if you needed five hands, I'm flipping getting that lever down if the plane's crashing, you know what I mean? I just know people are gonna underestimate me. That's what people are gonna do. Well, just stuff like you'll never, you'll like even like you'll never have a wife, like because you have one hand, something like that. You'll never get married. Jake will never get married because he has one hand. Things like that. I never, ever once wanted two hands, never wanted two hands. And uh, I've wondered what it would be like, but never wanted it. I never thought, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. Always, always said there was a way to do something. If I wanted to get something done, I would find a way to do something. Whether that's a cartwheel, I don't know, tying your shoes. I did put a little bit of a chip on my shoulder and then people around me, they, they just like stare and watch me and, and then talk to their friends and, and then do one of these things. It really got in my head. I, it actually made me quite, uh, like I got annoyed quite easily because um, having that from such a young age, just I automatically think oh, if someone's uh, looking at me or laughing or whatever, they're making fun of me. I couldn't even go out in public without a sweater on because I'd hide my arm. Growing up, you know, having so many people looking, staring, laughing, making fun. There was this, uh, this guy in, in my high school, uh, back in England. He was a bit of a school bully. Big, big boy for our age. And then he picked me up in the locker room and he was all with fighting after school. And uh, I was terrified. There was at least a hundred kids on the field after school. So I walked towards the field, these kids start circling us, everyone's got their phones out, and I just start back, walking backwards as he's walking towards me, and I started bouncing around, he came towards me, and uh, it took two punches, I fell to the ground unconscious, and I didn't want him getting back up, so I kicked him a couple times on the ground, just in the back, not in the head or anything. After that, never got bullied in the school again. Chance they get. White clock is brought to you by Modelo. Oh! Oh! Wow! One of the greatest knockouts you'll ever see! There's nothing quite like knocking someone out. It's hard to put words on the, 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 the feeling of winning like that. On top of the world for that next, you know, few hours, that next day, maybe even a week, right? And then... You know, that feeling fades, it will fade. And then you're, you're back to, you know, oh, I have to fight again to get that feeling back. It's, honestly, it's a bit like a drug. Um, that's fleeting, right? That's up and down. So if, I, if, I, if I'm doing well and I'm winning, then, you know, I feel good about myself. If I lose or I, I'm not doing well in training, then I'm not going to feel good about myself. I was getting recognized and respected and liked and it was through fighting I started to take my identity from who I was as a fighter at the moment in time I don't think I actually enjoyed fighting there was a there was a, a constant battling going on like me forcing myself to train and fight when I, I really, really didn't want to at the time. I remember calling my best friend. I said to him, I don't think I'm gonna fight anymore. Growing up, uh, my dad being a professional football player, people knew who my dad was. I mean, we'd be walking in the, in the shopping mall and people would stop him and ask for an autograph, a picture.
Clark with the corner kick. And here's Peacock, it's his hat trick. Everything the world would say is, uh, is success. We had a nice house, we had a couple nice cars, um, and my dad felt a calling to go into church ministry. Big change in lifestyle, right? It's showing me that money, fame, it's not everything, right? People think it's everything, people think that that's success, but uh, that wasn't what my parents were, were on this earth to do. I, I took like two years off and I just, I've, I grew so much in that two years. Like it was actually unbelievable. And during that two year period where I said I had so much growth, I, I realized I wasn't trying to cover my arm, I wasn't trying to hide my arm. I was, you know, I never, never ever since have I, you know, I don't know if it's ashamed or been embarrassed or, you know, felt self-conscious about it, never once. And uh, people would just tell me, you should get back into it, oh, you should fight. I actually am performing better now in training, in the fights themselves, you know, I'm not as anxious to do bad or um, if, I, if I have a bad day or a, a bad fight or whatever, it doesn't affect me. Because my, ultimately my identity is in God, not in whether I win or lose. So it's given me great freedom. There's something about being in the ring cage, you know, no way out, being in there with another guy and, you know, the, the best man's gonna win. I'm using my hands, or my hand, elbows, knees, legs, and it's like 90% mental, 10% physical, right? It's a big, big mental challenge getting in that ring. One slip, one mess, you know, one second that you, you're not paying attention, and you get kicked in the head, I mean, that could be the fight over, that could be your career over. It could be, in some cases, which are very sad, your life over. I do it because I think I've been gifted with it. I always think, man, if I had two hands, I reckon I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, well, I for sure wouldn't be where I am right now. If I had two hands, you know, maybe I would have been a little lazier. You know, maybe I would have been more lazy with two hands um, and not had that drive to, you know, conquer different things and had that drive to, you know, show people that they're wrong. And here we go, Jake Peacock coming down the ring. These guys are inspiration for everybody. Fight of the night. And here we go. Ray with an inside cut kick. Wow! Whoa. Holy nice, God. nice big head kick! Wow. It's all over. It is all yeah, over. Yeah, that's it. First wow. round. There's a lot of pain with it, but I think at the end of the day, it, it helped me for sure. It gave me good character, it gave me drive and perseverance and, and bravery to, to step out there into the unknown. I wouldn't be as talented as I am in this sport if I had two hands. It made me who I am.